Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo for February. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. So we're going to start right here. We're going to get one of these for Virgo. So let's get one of these for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for any time in February. We're not obviously going to take those. That was a mess. Maybe you're dealing with a mess. What do we have for Virgo? Things could be a little messy, huh? Love. It's funny because I was going to say romance is in the air. I was because I saw what I saw was a rose. And uh, I don't see any roses on here. Obviously, there's somebody that is interested. Okay, you notice this man is looking right at this woman. So we do have somebody that is interested here. Um, love is in the air. Love is absolutely in the air for you, Virgo. Okay? So, I mean, isn't that what you want? Love? Let's see if we can get that to focus. Maybe if we move it over here. It's going in and out. You see it? Interesting, huh? How it's going in and out. I've got it on manual focus. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Love is in the air. Love is in the air for Virgo for this month. There's somebody that is interested, quite interested. This person may not even know it, though. It's like the, the feminine may not know it. And they may, though. We have a very uh, beautiful individual who doesn't seem to... I don't think this person knows. I don't think this person knows that this person is so interested. Definitely being watched. We have a feminine that is being pursued, being watched. I'm not sure this person has spoken up yet. Interesting. Two cards. There they are. What do we have for Virgo? Great happiness. Great happiness. Box. You will receive a gift. Interesting. So you are going to receive a gift and a harp. I mean, this is beautiful. It looks like it's, it's absolutely beautiful to me. Um, you're going to receive a gift from somebody. If you are the, I think it's this male that is going to give you a gift. Maybe it's a gift of love, whatever. Let's see, what do we got for Virgo for February? We do have a feminine that is being watched. She is definitely being watched. Somebody is very interested in her. What do we have for Virgo for February? Virgo sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have for Virgo? Well, there's some sort of worries here. Now, this is right now, where you're at right now. There's stress, depressed. Uh, perhaps you're really worried about something. You may, be, you may be feeling anxious. You may be feeling like you're all alone. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's an opportunity for love. You may not be seeing it, okay? There's emotional support here. There's a big opportunity for love with the Ace of Cups. And you may you may not, you may obviously you don't see it, especially if you're the feminine. I think there's a feminine here that has a big opportunity for love that is being missed. She just doesn't see it. She doesn't see it. Definitely fearful. We're going to have to uh, just push that up a little bit. <laughs> Might as well put those right up there, huh?
Ooh, the tower reversed. The tower reversed as your overall outcome. Now, that's a shock. It's a major shock, right? Uh, a painful change. You never saw it coming. So, I think that you, the over, you are going to be shocked this month. You are definitely going to be shocked. It's going to be a big shock, a huge, huge shock. When the tower is reversed, it's actually a bigger shock than the tower in the upright, as far as this reader is concerned. Okay? You have a major new beginning here that you may be afraid of. Okay? You may be afraid of it. It looks to me like this is something coming in your favor. We got justice here. This is uh, you getting what you deserve finally. And I think that you're going to be absolutely shocked. And this, whoever this person is coming, that is coming, if you are single or whatnot, this person wants a commitment. This person was divinely guided into your life. Um, I think that you're you're going through a period of of unhappiness. Okay, I think in the past you were mistreated, you were misled, you probably dealt with somebody who didn't follow through. They didn't. Uh, they made all kinds of plans to build something, but they they didn't keep them. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is irresponsible, jealous, unfaithful, uh, drops out of the game, is cheap, is greedy. Uh, is inflexible this person is obsessed with their body so this is in the past and, and if it was I don't know if it's you or the person that you were dealing with but this is somebody who has an image problem and but does and you know that's their main focus uh, following through with plans to help others is not their focus put it that way this person is very self-centered so in the past we have somebody here and I don't know if it's you this is somebody who has a body image problem as well and, and they're very shallow so you may have been maybe you were shallow or the person you were dealing with was shallow this is uh, somebody that drops out, that doesn't follow through in the past. And maybe that's why there's there's fear here. I mean, the Knight of Swords is fear. There's worry. There's guilt. There's depression. You may be feeling like, you know, you're never going to meet anybody. That's what I feel like this is. Like, you're never going to, nobody's ever going to love you. For some of you, you may feel that way. Or why has everything failed? There's, there's feelings of guilt here. Maybe feelings of shame. Some of you may be ashamed of, I don't know what, maybe it's your body. Because this is a body issue right here. I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this person made you feel like you were less than worthy. Whoever, whatever. Um, I feel like right now you are focusing on making conscious changes in your life. Maybe you're dropping weight because the Ten of Wands reversed is dropping weight. It's making some conscious changes to release baggage that you have been holding on to. And this could be baggage from the past. It doesn't have to be weight. So I think that right now your work is working on making some changes within yourself. Some positive changes and getting rid of things that you just don't need to have in your life. This is freedom okay it's like you're waiting for for balance you're bringing balance back to your life you're bringing back balance back to your it's almost like your body and soul now the sun is a card of heart and soul but it's reversed here in your future so i feel like you are in the near future the very near future i feel like you are feeling like again with this ace of cups and i feel like this is reversed I feel like you're feeling like you're never going to be loved, you know. I feel like there's a feeling of, uh, you know, maybe this is unhealthy thoughts. Because this upright, it's positive. Reversed, it's negative. Maybe it's negative thinking, you know. I think this is unhealthy thinking. You may be thinking in an unhealthy manner. Now, the sun reversed is also sadness. It's, it's poor logic, and we have sadness here. So I think that maybe you're just not seeing situations clearly, you know. Lack of sun is, is cloudy, right? So there's lack of clarity. You may be being unrealistic about, you know, what the future holds. Um, I think that you're afraid. You're probably afraid of... of uh, Maybe you're afraid of getting hurt again. There's some sort of fear. Now, if you are in a coupled relationship, you, now, you may not be being honest with yourself. Because this right here in the future card is, is somebody that is disillusioned. You know, they're afraid of a broken marriage. You know, there's a loss of personal power. Somebody that is, 
you know, uh, suffocating themselves, staying in a situation that is cloudy. So for some of you, you know, you may be in a dark situation that you need to break free from and you know, you can't let you, you aren't going to shine until you break free because this is a card of freedom. So some of you are stuck in a marriage or a commitment that isn't making you happy and you're going to have to face this life change. You notice what's right, right above that is the tower reversed. Now this is a major life change that has to be dealt with So for your growth. So this is, we do have somebody here that is struggling with growth you know not allowing change struggling with their own freedom now this is a card of personal freedom finding your strength to let go of what doesn't serve you right now but this is lack of freedom so some of you are in an unhappy marriage or an unhappy situation that you are it's false, okay? Because the tower is a false sense of security. It's a fault. That's what it is. It's a false sense of security. And there's legal. This is, could be legal issues. And this could be legal issues. It's like there's legal issues that you may be avoiding, okay? Because this could be avoidance as well. Somebody is avoiding, you know, uh, completing a cycle in their life because of up coming legal issues okay or pending legal issues that would arise from following their heart somebody's not following their heart if you were in a couple relationship and it's like there's if if you do follow your heart things will turn out in your favor they will because this is things turning out in the in your favor so in your in your environment justice is coming your way so say you are single and you are dealing with this person that did not follow through that didn't own up to their end of the bargain that didn't do what they said they were you know that that what I, I already went through it justice is coming for you balance is coming for you what you deserve is coming for you this is getting what you deserve so be prepared for that. I mean, this is this is something turning out in your favor, okay? I feel like um, this is also be honest and upfront. Be honest and upfront with your true feelings. Some of some somebody isn't. If you act with integrity and you do the right thing according to your heart and soul, you you will have passed a test and you will have a major new beginning. So anyway, there is a cycle that is coming to an end and I feel like you guys are about to step into a new life. This is a major new beginning after something ends, okay? And this could be the end because this is loneliness. So this could be the end of loneliness for some of you. I do feel like you will be challenged to accept an offer of love. I think that somebody has an offer of love for you and you are challenged, you are being challenged to accept it and I think fear there is definitely some fear here um, down here down here in your uh, what's below the surface what you don't see I think that you're you're reluctant to put in any effort right you're reluctant to put in any work to you know uh, give your heart away it feels like you're not ready or you're not willing to just give your heart away to anybody you know, or you are dealing with somebody who's not putting in effort or you're somebody below the surface right now. What is below you? Somebody is not putting in effort. Somebody is not working hard enough. Somebody, it feels like there's lack of passion. Okay. Because the sun brings passion. There's a unpassionate situation here that isn't growing and somebody has to find the ability to, to, uh, do the right thing and I think that's really hard um, right now you need to believe in yourself you need to listen to your gut follow your intuition okay this is a direct access to God okay it is believe in yourself have faith okay have faith um, Maybe you need to seek advice from somebody that you really trust. There's probably somebody that is very spiritual in your vicinity or around you that can give you some good advice. Maybe you want to seek this person out. Maybe God, this is a higher power that is guiding you. If you were to take time to meditate, you would get the answers that you are seeking. 
if you are seeking some sort of answers in regards to what is the right thing to do, take a time out and meditate and the answer will come. But will you listen? Because this is about listening. So listen, listen. I think that you will be presented with some sort of choice. I do. I think that you will be presented with a choice as to whether, you know, you want to uh, start a new relationship with somebody or something. And I feel like you're you're going to struggle to do so because of your fear. I think there's fear of, you know, what if this what, giving your heart away to somebody that isn't going to follow through. Um, there is somebody that is interested. There's no doubt about it. I think that this person um, wants to build a foundation with you. Um, but you will probably be reluctant to... Uh, to do so now the world card upright is leaving the past behind it really is this is a long-term uh, time or a long-term situation has come to an end something that you have been doing for a while that phase of your life is coming to an end it's time to begin a new phase and this new phase involves love should you be open to accepting it. So this is fear. It is fear of giving your heart away. That's that is definitely fear. So I do feel like, you know, you're going to be getting uh, a, an opportunity to have a new start in love with somebody. But if you, you, you know, whether you give this person a chance or not is going to be up to you. This person could be a Libra. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Scorpio. Um... Let's clarify that sun card reversed. Thinking negative. You're thinking negative about the future. You should be thinking positive. Let go of that negative thinking. You have a new beginning here. You do. These are. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. This is a higher power that is bringing you something that you really deserve. But your negative thinking is causing a problem. Five of Swords reversed. Now, the Five of Swords reversed is uh, very, very scared. Very, very scared. You have been in a situation that was very hostile, very uh, sad. Uh, very hurtful, um, volatile. I think that you've been in a volatile situation. I'm clarifying this on the Five of Swords reversed is, you know, coming out of that negative thinking, walking away from the past, letting it all go, letting those bygones be bygones, you know, starting over, starting to trust again, opening yourself up. Now, do you want to be happy or do you want to let yourself hurt for the rest of your life? There's an opportunity for happiness here. But I'm telling you what, there is absolutely an opportunity with, for happiness. But there's a lack of faith. There's, then you need to have faith. You do need to have faith. I think you dealt with somebody in the past who really, really, really hurt you really bad. And... If you are in a coupled relationship and you are still staying with that person, perhaps you're staying with that person just for the commitment, just for legal reasons, just because of the commitment. And some of you may be feeling guilty for wanting to follow your heart. If you're in a coupled relationship, this is feeling guilty. Some of you are wanting are in a sad situation and you you don't want to hurt the other person. But this is about, the Ace of Cups is also about self-love. So perhaps you act in out in self-love this month. You make a conscious change to, you know, move out or drop this past that you have been reluctant to let go of. There is a false foundation here. If you're in a couple relationship, we have somebody that has been staying in a false sense of security, a false foundation that is really unstable, you know, because there's no... Uh, passion there's no growth there's 
you know, a strong desire to move, for it to end, to move in another direction. It's like you're not the same person that you used to be. And that's why somebody isn't putting in effort because they're just, their heart, this is heart and isn't in it, isn't in it anymore. And it's time to let it go. That's the right thing to do. This is a card of karma. When you don't follow your heart, don't think the universe, this is a universe card and this is a universe card, isn't watching. For some of you, there is going to be a permanent loss. Because somebody, this is a permanent loss. It, I'm being honest with you. It is. And there's health problems here. Health problems, health problems. There's health problems here because somebody isn't following their heart. There could even be heart problems. There could be a fight that is upcoming for those of you that are in a coupled relationship and not following your heart. It's like the animosity is growing because you're not honoring yourself. You're not doing the right thing. So for some of you, you got to do the right thing. You have a new beginning here. I feel as though uh, you need to take a risk, Virgo, whether you are coupled or single. This is take a risk. You have a new phase, okay? You have a new phase that is trying to begin. You're supposed to go, go in with blind faith. It's time to step into unknown territory. Just let it happen. Let yourself do it. This is also a card of freedom, and this one is too. And, you know, anyway, I think this month, you know, some of you are going to be taking a big risk, and it's probably going to be a little bit fearful or scary. So I see that there's going to be an offer of love for a feminine. If you're the masculine watching this, I think this is you offering your heart to this woman who is scared to death. So keep that in mind. There's a fem feminine that is scared, very scared. But I think this could lead to marriage. It could lead to commitment. It could lead to, you know, a long term phase, probably marriage by 2021. It could be the end of loneliness, whether you are in a coupled relationship or not. You know, you can be in a relationship and still be lonely. Great happiness is coming. And I think it is something that you asked for, maybe subconsciously. Take that risk. Take that leap of faith. Whoever this person is that is coming in, I feel like this person is wanting is looking for a commitment i feel like this person is looking to build a strong foundation i feel like this person um will probably be very compassionate will know that you know this whoever they're dealing with needs a lot of love they will know that it's like this person is going to be compassionate i feel like this person is going to really put in effort So Virgo, uh, I think that February you are about to get something that you deserve. Courtesy of a, there's a higher power here. These are both universe cards. This is a higher power. Follow your gut. Listen, if you are questioning this, sit down in a quiet space and meditate and the answer will come. This person is probably a Libra or a Taurus. I think this person is a Libra or a Taurus or a Scorpio. I do not think it's a Leo because that sun card is reversed. And even though this is reversed, this is building a new foundation. So it could be a Scorpio. I do not feel it's it's this person over here. This is a, somebody in the past that didn't follow through. And maybe that's you, you know. Could be an Aries. It could be an Aries. 
So we do have a major new beginning here. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to open your heart because this person is going to give it a good shot. Good luck. 